Well, statistics show that more vets die from suicide than in combat. But as our CBS 46 Bill Beth Yates reporter tells us, the PTSD program right here in Metro Atlanta is helping to change that and it's fighting to change the lives for those vets. Yes, many people know about Emory Healthcare, but what they don't know is about the free state of the art program they're offering to veterans. You're looking at one of the virtual reality simulations used to help veterans suffering with PTSD. It's right about here when the explosion happens. We can recreate almost any situation that they describe from Iraq or Afghanistan. And again, it's exposing them to their own memory. Barbara Rothbaum is the director with Emory Healthcare's intensive outpatient veterans program. She says they have a 90% completion rate, and the key is helping the vet confront the situation that has been haunting them. PTSD is maintained by avoiding the memory and avoiding reminders of the memory. So the procedure that we use that has been shown to be effective with research is to help patients uh, confront their memories systematically um, in a safe context. Andrew Sherrill is one of the clinical psychologists working with the program, and he says repeatedly going over the bad memory allows the vet to realize he's not under the same threat level, which helps the veteran to lower their guard and interact in the present. They learn that what happened in the past was in the past, not happening right now. Um, memories are safe. Uh, memories don't have to trigger the fight or flight response. But the best part of Emory's IOP program is that it's 100% free despite where you live. So we're able to fly in veterans from all around the country, put them up at the hotel across the street, feed them, and give them more therapy in two weeks than most people receive in an entire year. To find out more about Emory Healthcare's veterans program, you can go to the CBS 46 News app. Bo Bathy 8's CBS 46 News.